Hello, this is Scott Krieger, Respiratory Therapy. We're going to go over the setup of the SPAG-2 uh, generator. This is the nebulizer that delivers the uh, ribavirin or the virazole uh, for patients with an RSV colonization that are showing signs of respiratory distress. Um, our patient population for the adults will probably include lung transplant patients that are immunocompromised, bone marrow transplants as well, um, that have a uh, positive RSV respiratory culture on their PCR test. Okay. Here's the internal components right here. It's a pretty simple setup. We've got the, this is the top of the nip cup. Okay. It's got a little blue O-ring in there that seats on a ledge. And there's two tabs, one here, one there, and those will fit in there. Fits snugly in there to give us a good seal. On here, okay, will be the jets for the nebulizer. And then again, this just screws on. Okay. We'll just snug tighten it. All right. Now this jet, there's three different jets here. Each one has a little hole there and it's going to, attached to a capillary tube, and we'll put those on as well. Alright, well, that was exciting, but okay, we're done there. That's our setup, now that we're good to go. This is the bottom of the nip cup, our solution for our ribavirin, which is usually uh, going to be mixed with sterile water. All right, and it's six grams delivered in 24 hours. We're going to break that up into two grams for each treatment, three treatments a day. Each treatment will consist of a two-hour increment, though. Okay, so we'll put the solution in there again after we've scanned it, and then this is just going to screw in and lock in place and get a little snug fit right there. Now this drying chamber will attach to it. Okay, it'll show a directional flow for the arrow. Okay, that's going towards the patient. All right, and that gives us the ability to seat it on this O-ring here, and we'll get it nice and snug. Okay, so that's how it's going to set up. Now, if I take this, there's our spag unit, there's the front. If I turn around to the back, okay, this guy will fit in this track here, fit in place, hold it by the C-bracket. All right, now I can take the drying chamber, feed it through this hole here, and get it seated in place over that big O-ring. Okay. Now the only thing left is to attach. This is the drying flow meter hose. It's the black one. Just pinches and fits over that O-ring. You'll feel a good snug connection. And this is the flow meter that controls the nebulizer output. And this is the blue hose and that's going to also seat over its O-ring. And you'll hear it snap in place. Now that's our setup for the SPAG too. Now the next part of this video is we're going to connect this to the blender and actually get it up and running though. Okay. Turn the whole unit. So this is it. Just like that. Perfect. Is that good? That's okay. good. Again, blue hose here connects to the neb. This is the nebulizer flow meter. This is the drying chamber flow meter. And this is my drying chamber that seats onto the O-ring. All right.